Are you missing a couple of the containment units in carry-on that you don't know where they are or how to access them? In this video, I will show you exactly where to get each and every one of these containment units. There are some basic information to note before we start. First off, these 9 different containment units are optional, and you can acquire them as the monster to buff up yourself slightly in all sorts of different ways. They don't really impact your gameplay in a major way if you don't care to collect them at all. Also, all 9 of them are located in different areas, so if you got one from one area, you can be sure to cross that area off your list and head on to the next area. Some of these containment units you can get when you are going through the game for the first time, while for others you have to double back to it once you acquire a more advanced skill from another area. Keep in mind of this symbol, if you see it, then a containment facility is nearby. All in all, if you obtain all of the skills, you can definitely access all of the containment units. So just watching the video might be just too boring, so I'm just going to be commentating to hopefully provide you with a little bit of entertainment. Number 1. Location. Military Junkyard. The first containment unit is in the military junkyard. This one is so easy that everyone should just get. So next. You mean you haven't got this? Oh well. Fine, here's the explanation. This is the first area that you get to access from the frontier, the main hub area of the game. The room to it is just located very plainly on a must-go-through path, but there is a small puzzle you have to solve to progress the game and also get to this containment unit. After you get to the hazardous waste landfill, you need to continue downwards. This will lead you to a fairly sizable room. There is some brown water that you can access to to deposit some biomass to become smaller. This will allow you to shoot your webs from the top of the room to trigger the lever that will open the door to the next area. After you do that, after you do that, the next safe spot is in sight and so is the containment unit. Number 2. Location. Frontier. After you get through the military junkyard, you should have obtained the medium sized dash skill. This one is just so straightforward that I'm just gonna skip for real this time. Number 3. Uranium Mines Now we are going into the juicy parts of this video. Containment unit number 3 is located in a water area and you have to return to this area after you acquired the Hydrophilia skill from the Leviathan Reef Base. So now you can go through the small cracks in the water and access this containment facility. There is an interesting puzzle here that tests your knowledge of the stealth skill. 
So first you have to deposit biomass to become your smaller form. Then you can start. There is an energy panel in the middle of the room to recharge your energy. And you can use the web skill to recharge energy from far away. So during stealth, you have to recharge energy so you can continue to have enough energy to go around the room. I have spent quite a long time here trying to go as fast as I can only to realize that if you are not moving during stealth, you actually don't spend any energy. This way, you can just stay still and wait for the panel to recharge. Then recharge your energy and continue on to the next opening. This does require some finer maneuvers, but it's quite easy when you understand how it works. Number 4. Location Botanical Gardens For this facility, you need the skill to control humans, so obtain that skill first before coming here. This one is located all the way down on the bottom left in an open area. While it may seem like there isn't any access points, you can however just go through the water from below the map. There is a human there for you to control to open the doors. And that's how you can go into the facility. The inside of the facility has another puzzle. You actually need to grab the armored human from outside and control him inside the facility. You can only access the black squeeze through doors as the monster, so you need another body to go through the security doors on the bottom and also open the security doors all the way at the top. Number 5. Location, Leviathan Reef Base In order to get this containment unit, you must have acquired the Carapace Armor skill. Also, you need to have some energy when going into the facility. There is a lever on the right of the room that controls two doors that alternate open and close. You have to first toggle it, go get the energy, then toggle it back. Go through the first harpoon and then get the energy again. Finally, you're through by using the energy you got to, to get through the final harpoon. If you got all that, good for you. Otherwise, just watch the video. Number 6. Location, Relis Science HQ The sixth containment facility is just to the right of the entrance of Relis Science HQ. There is no way you can miss it. The reason you missed it before was probably because you didn't have that spear ability. Now that you have it, you can pull it out. <coughs> That's what she said. Anyways, after you power the screw, there is another puzzle waiting for you. In order to proceed, you need to become small by depositing biomass on the brown waters right outside of the facility. This allows you to stealth through the lasers and get to the bottom of the facility. 
There is a lever you can toggle to open up access to the brown waters inside the facility. You have to go back outside, retrieve your biomass, and deposit inside. Then again go through the lasers using stealth and toggle the switch on the bottom of the facility. Your biomass should drop down into the bottom and you can take your biomass to open the containment unit. Wait, why do I feel like I'm describing some hentai? Number 7. Location Nuclear Power Plant This containment facility is in quite a convoluted place, so just follow the video on the screen. It'll be much better than me explaining where for you to go with words. However, you do need both the spear and carapace armor abilities, so keep that in mind when you want to get here in the first place. Now, I did follow this map provided by Demagen in order to find this containment facility. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing his name correctly. And you can find a link to his map that he provided on Reddit down below in the descriptions. Essentially, you're just supposed to keep going down and right, but follow my path on screen now to get access to it. Once you get to it, you need to be in your small form to stealth past the lasers. Then there is a person for you to control. Since you don't have access to your bigger form, you can't use carapace armor to tank the harpoon explosion. That's why the human is there for you to control and use a spade to break the brick wall giving you access to the containment unit. <laughs> Once the wall is broken, don't be like me and go from the top. There is a path beneath the harpoon for you to access to the containment unit. Number 8. Location, Armored Warfare Facility Nothing much to say here actually, just go right from the entrance. If you still manage to get lost, then I'm guessing you're just one of those people that can get lost when using a map. Number 9. Location, Bunker for this one, I don't have it shown from the entrance from Frontier, but it's essentially in the hub area unique to the bunker. This is the mandatory area that you have to unlock, so this footage is from my playthrough of the game and shows how I solved it and managed to find the containment unit. This containment facility is in a very obvious room, so just keep in mind of the symbol and you should be good.
So there's all 9 of the containment units. Once you get all of them, you should be unlocking your final achievement. So hopefully this video has helped you in some way, shape or form. And subscribe for more content helping you find video game secrets and solutions to problems. Thank you all for watching. Bye for now.